Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials and today I am going to share with you one of my all-time favorite concoctions. I call them Heaven on a Plate Lemon Bars. There are actually three elements to the cake, one of which you don't have to make at all because it already comes made, one of which you had to mix a little bit, and one you had to mix a lot. The three components are the cake, the lemon curd, which comes already pre-made, and the topping. First, we make the cake. Now, the way we make a cake, let me read off of my recipe here just to make sure we have it. We take one lemon cake, which I have right here, and we take one stick of butter, which I have right here. It's already room temperature. And we have one egg, and I've got the eggs over here. Now, I am going to put them into this measuring cup so I can mix it up and then get it into the cake pan. And the directions for that say, mix it thoroughly. It'll be much thicker than cake batter. Press it into the bottom of a lightly greased 9 by 13 cake pan. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have the cake mix and I'm opening it up and I am going to put it into this mixing cup. Much easier to cut it with scissors than it is to try to rip it by hand. And we're going to mix in the one egg and the stick of butter. Now I always put the egg that I'm breaking into a bowl so just in case there's some shell in it it's easier to get it out of the bowl than it is if it goes in the mix of something you're mixing and you have to dig out a piece of shell from the powder and the other goo. Fortunately there's no shells in the egg this time so I'm just going to dump it right in and we're going to take all this stuff and mix it up. If I were doing this again, I would probably put the butter in the microwave for about nine seconds and that would make it a lot softer and easier to work with. I wonder what it would be like to make these into cookies. You know, that's how some recipes get invented. People do something with one part of a recipe and then they say, I wonder what would happen if, and then they try it and sometimes it comes out good and sometimes it says, comes out to the point that they say, I wish I hadn't have done that. But that's pretty much a lot of the ways that I have developed the recipes I have. I say, well, I wonder what would happen if I tried it this other way. And some of them have come out really good. And you've seen some of those recipes here on my channel, particularly my chocolate chip cookie recipe that I developed on my own. Okay. There's all the cake batter, and it is, I just washed my hands by the way, it is got to be spread out evenly in the pan. I haven't made this, oh goodness, more than five years now. I've been on a diet that really doesn't permit this kind of thing, but I wanted, this is so good, I wanted to share it with you so that you can, if you're not on the kind of diet I am, or even if you are and you just want to splurge, you can definitely have the joy of this heaven on a cake lemon bar recipe. Okay, we're making it nice and smooth and even all the way through the bottom of the cake pan. Now you can see it's not very thick. It's probably a quarter inch or so thick all the way across the bottom of this 9 by 13 inch pan. Now that's component number one of these lemon bars. Component number two is the lemon curd. Now I used to use 10 ounces. The only lemon curd I could find in the grocery store was 12 ounces. So I may or may not use it all. We'll just see what happens. Now on a lid, a jar lid that's kind of hard to open, I have found if you knock it on a counter, 
several times, frequently that will make it so you can open it, which that did. Now let's spoon it on there and see how far it goes. And the directions say to spread it out to cover the entire cake. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If it seems like it's a little bit thin, even if you're using 10 ounces and not 12 like I'm using here, it's okay because lemon curd is very strong and even a very thin layer is going to be good for your cake. Oh, that's too thick there, so I'm going to spread it all the way out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Does that look good or does that look good? Looks like I'm going to use the entire 12 ounces here. Like just about all recipes, the measurements are close enough. They're, they don't have to be exact to the microgram or to the millionth of an ounce. Just getting pretty close to it is usually good enough. Okay, now there's the lemon curd spread out over the top of the cake mix. The final component is the topping. Now the topping consists of, let me read this to you, one stick of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese softened, two eggs, one teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon powdered sugar. Mix the butter and cream cheese together until smooth. Add the eggs and the vanilla, then gradually add the powdered sugar. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is measure the powdered sugar because it said one pound and you used to be able to buy powdered sugar in one pound boxes, but I've been looking for those for a while now. Seems like the only way they want to sell you powdered sugar is in a two pound bag or bigger. And I guess that's because companies are run by bean counters and not by people who care about their customers as people. Uh, I'm going to cut the corner off the bag here and turn on my scale. If I turn it on while the measuring cup is on it, the scale goes to zero and it's on ounces. So one pound is 16 ounces. Let's go ahead and add sugar. 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go, whoa, whoa, 16 plus. That's close enough. Now, with that measured, I'm setting it aside. We're done with the scale. We now come to the other components of the topping. And the components of the topping, as I said, are a stick of butter. Never hurts to double check your ingredients. One stick of butter. What did I do with that spoon? Here's a spoon. <laughs> Get all that good butter out of there. Eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Okay, here's the cream cheese. Come on, cream cheese. Come out of your wrapper. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Kitchen scissors are always so handy. Here is, come on cream cheese, get out of there, all the cream cheese, get that goodie out of there too. All right, supposed to mix them together until they become smooth. Okay, add the eggs. Hooray, 100% eggs that are shell free. And the vanilla. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Look how smooth that is. 
looking good, isn't it? Now, I'm going to tell you one thing about the uh, topping here that I found out by trial and error, mostly error. Once you put the topping on the lemon bars, you don't want to spread it all the way to the edge of the pan because if you do, it will crawl up the edges of the pan and it will make a topping rim all the way around the lemon bars. So what I have found is that when you put the topping onto the lemon bars, you spread it to within about three quarters of an inch of the edge of the pan. That way when it cooks, it will not, it'll expand to the edge of the pan, but it won't crawl up the edge of the pan. So there we have it. I'm adding the powdered, a measured pound of powdered sugar into the rest of the topping mix. You notice I have the mixer on a lower speed right now, and that's because if it's on a higher speed and you dump in the powdered sugar, guess what's going to happen? It's going to go everywhere! One of the things I have learned when you're mixing something, a lot of the times mixing it puts air in it, and if it's got a color like yellow from the butter or the eggs, putting a lot more air into it makes it paler and eventually you can actually turn it pretty close to white. That looks pretty blended to me. Doesn't that look good to you? Okay, now if I've gotten a good camera angle, you'll see that it does not go all the way to the edge of the cake pan, although I got, I think, too close on one side there. But that is what we need to do as far as preparing the cake. The only thing left is, is to bake it at 325 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. Here we go, putting the cake into a 325 degree oven. Now the main reason we're putting it in for an hour and 20 minutes is because the cake is mashed down. It doesn't have the air in it. It takes that long to cook. Now it's time to take the lemon bars out of the oven. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is the lemon bar cake pan full. Doesn't that look delicious? Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Here we go. Let's see if we can try it. By the way, it's already cool for about an hour. Now I'm taking this thin bladed spatula and I'm going down the edges of the cake pan to release it from the side. Okay, to get out the first piece. There's that. So, the first piece is always the hardest to get out. It's a little bit wider than the spatula, so I'll have to go in from the side. And here is the very first piece. Shall we try it? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that is every bit as good as I remember it. As I said in the beginning, it's heaven on a plate. It's turn your mouth inside out good, and I hope you try this and that you enjoy this every bit as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these lemon bars, and if these aren't the best you have ever had in your life, I want to hear about it. As always, if you thought this was a great video, which I hope you do, give me that thumbs up. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not, right now, go ahead, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon. Don't click on the 
Lemon Square, but click on the bell icon and YouTube will let you know when I post another great video right here on David's Tutorials and Vlog Channel. Meantime, everybody have a marvelous day. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.